This is calculator question number 30 from the May 2019 International Exam. College Board describes a parabola and they tell us the parabola has a vertex at x equals 3, y equals 0. And the parabola has two x-intercepts, which means it opens down. But they don't give us enough information to find the actual equation of the parabola. They do tell us it has the form y equals negative ax squared plus bx plus c, where the negative calls our attention to the fact that it opens down. And what we should notice is that at x equals 0, the y value will be 0 plus 0 plus c. So the y-intercept will be c. Since the parabola opens down, the y-intercept cannot, that should say 3, 1, because the ver vertex is at 3, 1. Since the parabola opens down, the y-intercept cannot be above the vertex. The vertex is the maximum. So the y-intercept has to be a number less than 1. C has to be a number less than 1 because C is the y-intercept, the y-value when x is 0. So choices B, C, and D cannot be correct because those would put the parabola opening up with a vertex at 3, 1 would mean that it has no x-intercepts. So the only possible value of C is choice A, negative 8. There is not enough information here to find the, a necessary value of C, but there is enough information to find that C has to be less than positive 1, and only one of our answer choices fits that description. Always look for that possibility with College Board questions on the SAT, where you may not have enough information to find an exact answer, but you do have enough information to rule out three of the choices. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.